Hello, it's Chris here from Daily Bites. So, today what I'd like to do is show you this video so that you can know how to use Keynote, iMovie and CapCut to help create your school projects or any projects at your work or university. How to add photos, make video, add music, create voiceover uh, by, with the computer and any special effect that you might want to add. Now you'll see that I have highlighted iMovie, iTunes and CapCut. So let's get started. First I'll let you see a little video I've made. Hello or sorry crap. Nice to meet you. Hello, my name is B and I am at school. I like to use my pencil or computer to help me with my studies. Thank you for watching my video and remember to do social distancing at school. Subscribe for more. So I'm back again after that little video. So if you notice, the video was full of all different kinds of things. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take you through all the different parts that I used to make this movie. Now. I used iMovie, I used Keynote, and I also used CapCut. But in the process, I might have used Google, my Photos app, and even if I needed it, I would have used uh, my browser to find some things as well. So, first thing what we want to do is make sure that we understand that we are going to use a couple of different apps and I'm using an iPad but you can use iPad or an iPhone now obviously iMovie and uh, iTunes are on Apple so CapCut though is on Android so let's get started first if you need to take away the background on any of your photos then I recommend going to Photopea. It's quite easy. You just put it into your browser or into Google. I recommend your browser actually because when you're downloading things, your browser is the best place for that. So if you need to remove the background, use Photopea because it's very easy and simple. Now, for us, I didn't need to do that, so let's get started. Okay, so make sure that when you go into Google that you type in exactly what you want. For example, I wanted a picture, student, boy, uh, free download. Make sure you click free download or PNG because that way you can make sure that there's almost no backgrounds or that you're allowed to use the picture. You don't want anybody complaining later about whose picture it is, even though they've put it in a public domain. Okay, so first I move up and down, look around because depending on what you want to do, there are a lot of photos and they're not always suitable for your idea or your project. So what I'm thinking is I look at these, this little girl and I can see that she's got all the different parts for school and I'm thinking that, hmm, okay, the, the masks and the school and now I see this photo and they've got masks on, it's at school, so I think I'll do a social distancing video for you uh, where we can show about students and about social distancing and COVID. Okay, that makes it easier. Now, to download these photos, I just press on them because I'm using an iPad, uh, iPhone's the same, some of the Android's the exact same, just press on it, touch screen, and then you press download the image. Now, once you've got all your images, uh, then go and check that you've got them in your photo album. Make sure that they're there, that what's, what you have is what you want. And then go to the first app that we're going to use, which is Keynote. Now, first thing I do with Keynote is I normally make a few slides, blank screen, and I will make the color that I want. The reason I want to make the color myself is because I want to decide everything about my project. So first thing I do is I use the gradient. Uh, I like gradient because you can use two colors and it mixes and makes a special color that's only for you. Uh, so then I click on that and I you can test it. 
look, you can see it doesn't immediately make everything. Just click around till you find the one you like. Once you've got the one you you like, just click done. And then after you've done that, all of your slides will change to that color. Now, once you've got that color, you must then think about adding your pictures. So again, just click into your folder and add one, two, three, your three photographs. And then what you're going to do is you're going to expand them. Okay, look at them, you expand them a little bit, make sure you they have all the things you want. For instance, make sure that there's no logos or anything that will make your picture a problem. Okay, again, try to expand them right to the from the full picture if you can. That makes it easier for when you're making your video. You don't want to have blocks or parts missing. Okay, so again, I expand each one. Just take it up to the corner and move it out until you have it. Now, you can see here, it's a little bit small. So what I've got to do is I'm going to stretch it out, stretch it out until it covers the full part. If it covers the full part, that's really good because it means that now your background is not important more than you have your, you have like the perfect background here. You see, I've got, I've already got the clouds and I've got the blue and the green and everything's perfect there. Okay, so now I have managed to get everything and I start repositioning them in order. I decide, oh, okay, so the first one will be introduction, second one will be social distancing there, and third one will be the little girl. So now we've got to decide what are we going to do. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to double tap on it and I'm going to crop each of the photographs and then I'll copy and paste to the new slide. Once I've copied and pasted every one of them, you'll see that there's actually we've got nine, we've got eight small ones and one big one. So that means that we can have quite a few slides. Now remember that when you're making a video, the more slides you have or the more photographs, the longer you can make your video. If you only have, like before we only had three pictures, that would only be a few seconds. If you actually want to make a few minutes of video, you will need more pictures and you will have to learn how to expand them if you can. So you can see here that basically I have gone from one picture to the other. The reason again is because each of you see each of the pictures, they have something in their hands. So you can see that this girl has a computer, another one she has, uh, she's saying okay or hi, or she's showing that she's got her ID card, uh, that's for her name. She's also showing that she's carrying her pencils. So you've got a good idea of everything that she wants you to think. Okay, so you see here quickly I've went through them all and actually I've speeded up this video a little bit because it was quite slow going one by one to get nine slides. But I would like you to think about this. It's sometimes videos when they're showing you what to do they're very sl they're very fast, not slow. They're too fast. And you don't know whether the teacher or the person who's sh making the video, did he click on this or did he click on this? So with this, I decided to make sure that you could see that I, I cropped them and then I expanded them and I put them all in the same area. So you see here, as I say, it's doing it quite quick, but you will take a little longer when you're doing it yourself. Okay, so don't expect you're going to be doing that so fast, but you will be able to do it from this video. Next, what we're going to do is we're actually going to turn this now into a video. We'll just press on uh, share and then move. When we do that, we'll press on export, share it. Then I'll move it into now and moving into iMovie. So now what have I moved it into iMovie for? Well, iMovie is very good for joining and connecting things. I'm going to change that, I'll make the name into how to be a good student. Okay. Good. Okay, so now here's I'm making the video. I'm just checking to make sure that everything's okay. And I'm going to choose some music. Right? That's one of the reasons I brought it over to iMovie to show you that you can select free music. And actually, iMovie does lots more, but today I'm going to do all of the special effects. Sometimes I can do special effects in Kino and I can do some of them in iMovie, but today I'm going to show you the special effects in CapCut. Okay, so now that I've added the music, I'm now going to transfer it over to CapCut. And there you see that we've opened CapCut. So I'm having a look at that, making sure that it's all in there. Now, this part, 
you should pay more attention. Some people, you know how to use CapCut, but I can tell you CapCut is a big program, lots of things to learn. So the first thing you want to do is you want to see what you're going to put on the front. Okay, so you can see here, just test these. When I was testing them, I could see that some of them may work very well, some of them not work very well. So this one, I like this one, so I'm going to move everything and use this one. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the font, okay, and I'm going to connect this up, and then I'm going to type in here. So you see here at the bottom, I'm typing, and I'm removing all of their words, and then I'm going to type something. So now what I'm doing is I'm typing uh, how to be good students during COVID. Now, you see the amazing part with when you're using these apps is that imagine you make mistakes. You don't like what you've written. So what you do is you just go over and you click into it and you change it. Now you see there I had the H and then I zoom out and then I drag it up to the top. So any mistakes can be corrected immediately. Any, you want to expand it, you want to reposition it, everything you do here is easy. Okay, so again, you'll see then this March, I'm going to take that away and I'm going to type something in there. What a uh, social distancing or distance, social distance for, oh, I've made a mistake there. Okay, for students. Okay, and again, I can re, I can reshape it. I can, I can move it around, resize it. Okay, so I've got daily, move that daily vlog out the way. And I put this here and I think, oh, okay, that's fine. And I'm going to change daily because actually I've got a YouTube channel called Daily Byte 7. So I'm going to change that to Daily Byte 7 just because it's my YouTube channel. Okay, now I've got that and I'm looking at all the other slides and I'm thinking, okay, so what am I going to do next? Okay, so I've got this social distancing and I've got the, them together. So I want to do an introduction. I think the best thing to do is to... Uh, say something like hello. So first I will click on to this and I will click and enter hello or Sabadi um, Crap, ah, I think that'd be okay. Now what I'm going to wait to show you is what you can do to get your first computer voice Hello or Sabadi Crap Hello or Sabadi Crap Hello or Sabadi Crap You can choose a different voice. So we'll generate that and listen to it. Okay, it's very important that you check everything, right? So do something, then go and check it. Hello, also what do you do that? You'll be very, you'll be very good, and you won't make so many mistakes. Don't just think you've done it. Go back and check. Okay, so here I'm going to click. Oh, nice to meet you. See that? Now you notice I've just covered up something. Now later on, I'll show you how. Actually, although I've covered it up, it doesn't cover up. Nice so to meet well, you. Nice to meet even, you. Nice to meet you. I can get her to speak. Hello, again, also what always keep testing. Nice to meet you. Test everything. Now you notice again what I'm starting to see when I go back to check, it's overlapping her. It shouldn't be on that slide. So what I've got to do is I've got to adjust that a little bit. So when you're using CapCut, it's important that you go back and you press on things and you check and you resize and you move it around a little bit. It's, it's very important that you play around and experiment. Don't think that you're going to do this quickly same I do. Now, I've made a few mistakes. Hello, and, also what do you I didn't take the nice mistakes to meet you. out. I left them in so that you could see that I have made the mistakes and then I've corrected the mistakes. So you see here, I'm moving the, moving the little cursor up and down and I'm making sure that I'm moving the sound. I'm making sure that I'm moving the, the words and I'm making sure that they fit so that they cover correctly. Okay, so make sure you check that. Make sure that it's done. And then you have to choose something else. So uh, I like this one, Princess, because it's got, this doesn't have a background. See, what I noticed is sometimes if you choose something wrong, uh, it looks good when you're looking at it, but when you add it to your work, it doesn't. Now, when you're typing out, don't worry about it goes in a long line, because actually, if you just click on Enter, you put your cursor, and then press on Enter, and then it will reduce to the next line. So again, with this one, you will just check. And then what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that the position is correct. Then you will click Hello, and test my name is about which Hello, voice. My name. Now, like I said, you Hello, can choose any voice, a man and or I woman am at school. from America or from the UK. 
So you've done that, test it, make sure it works. Make sure that everything is in correct order. Doesn't Hello, overlap. my name is B, and I uh, am at some, school. Before I did it, it was the two voices from different slides were talking at the same time, and I had to change that. Okay, so let's choose another one. Uh, again, when I've chose this one, comic styling, I've used this a few times, and I like it. And so I'm typing away, and you'll notice, actually, that I haven't clicked on it. Okay, and I might make an error here. Uh, I left the error in to show you that I made an error, and I'm like, oh, so wait a minute, click on it again. This time I'm clicked on it, and this time I actually delete it. You see that? So if you make a mistake, don't worry, just go back and fix it. So, I like to use my pencil or my computer to help me with my work. Oh, with my studies. Ah, okay, now... Once you've got that, you see it's overlapping on her, so again I go down and I click on enter after each part until it's the right size. Then what I do is I just expand it and make it fit. Okay, and then I will click on it, I will choose my voice, I and like then to use I will use my pencil or computer to help me with my studies. Okay, so I like to use my there, pencil or computer to help me with my studies. We will energize. And Hello, or Okay, so I'm testing it again. Nice to meet you. Actually, Hello, my name is again. B, you and I am at school. I like to use my pencil nice or computer to help me with my position, studies. But I'll go back later and fix that. Okay, so once we've actually got that, we'll do the next one. Okay. And Hello, or Sawadee Crap. Hello, social distancing. Nice to meet Hello, you. Hello, or Sawadee Crap. Actually, that nice part was annoying because I realized I have to move the words. The or Sawadee Crap. Nice that. to meet you. you move it a little Hello, so my name is B, and I comes in line so wait you see that nice to meet you have to realign that a little bit until everything is fine don't worry about making mistakes don't worry about how everything doesn't fit the first time just try to practice just moving things around and making sure you can get it to fit now as we move on we have to make sure that each part whether it is sound whether it is the words and everything must be in the correct place. Hello, or Sawadee Crap. Okay, so again, nice to meet you. I am forever Hello, my name is B, and I am at school. I like to use my pencil like or computer to help me with my studies. One mistake later, when you create the video, you will see it. So I noticed that she was putting her thumb up and she was doing something like that. So I, I dragged that up until it was where she was on the telephone. And then where, where I saw her smiling with her thumbs up, that's where I want to start my new uh, words. So what I do is I, I, I like this one. You see this? The world's shiny. I like this one because it just makes a lot of sense to me. But here's my problem. As soon as I started writing, I, I, I started to notice that this was going to overlap her face. And I thought about, okay, maybe that's okay. If I put it down, maybe it would look okay at the bottom. But I kept typing, thinking, maybe, maybe. But if I want to make it big... If I want the, the vocabulary size to be increased, well, what you'll notice is that it doesn't work. It actually just overlaps her face, and that's not what I wanted. You see that? As soon as I reduced it and got it the correct spacing for my vocabulary, I then noticed that my whole picture was going to disappear. So after a minute of thinking about it, I just copied it. I just copied my writing. And then what I did was I deleted that and I went and got my princess because the princess one is able to transfer over the top. And then I just pasted it in and then I zoomed it out. Easy. So if you think about just a little bit, that's a little trick or hack. If you make a mistake with Thank something, you for watching my again, video and remember to do social to distancing at school. Okay, the voice you want the woman to speak again. And now we've got to check it. Hello, so also what it. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hello, see that? my name oh, is B, and I am at school. Better. I like to use my okay. pencil or computer Again, to help me with my studies. You Thank you for now. watching my video, and remember to do social distancing okay. at school. Now, as I look more and more, I decided, oh, I had a look at this, and I'm moving around and checking everything. It takes a little bit of time moving things and making sure that everything's over. When you get to the end, you'll see that everything looks okay. Now, you might actually think about something like putting, for me, 
I'm now promoting a YouTube channel so I, for me what I would do is I would then look at this and say oh please subscribe or subscribe for more content okay and I've started putting these on all my videos so that I can get everyone to click in now again once you've once you've got to the end of your video you think you're ready subscribe for more. and you've got all subscribe your for more. voice done and you've checked everything what to do is have a look through and make sure you check it all again if you're happy with everything, make sure any mistakes that you're not happy with, you fix them. Okay, so now what happens is we might think about special effects. Thank you. Okay, so here I am. I'm going to click into the effects and you'll see that there's a lot of different effects and you can see that trending, basic, uh, love. Okay, so what I'll do is I will just click on this and Ooh, I, I like to use my pencil. Okay. a special effect there. And let's make another one here. Let's choose what we'll do. Oh, okay. To meet you. Do that one. Hello. That looks good. Okay, now once we've got all our special effects, all our everything that we want, we will then transfer it out. Okay, and we will export it. Always check it and make sure everything's okay. So you can listen to it now. Hello, all sorty crap. Nice to meet you. Hello, my name is B. And I am at school. I like to use my pencil or computer to help me with my studies. Thank you for watching my video and remember to do social distancing at school. Subscribe for more. So we've finished the video. I hope that you can actually learn from it and go and make your own videos. Uh, I think it's using CapCut uh, iMovie and Keynote is very easy but there is a lot to learn so hopefully that when you go to make your videos that you have a better idea thank you very much please subscribe if you want and I'll make some more videos for you okay goodbye